Hello and welcome to the next episode of our South Africa campaign here in Victoria 3. So, uh, our region of the world is getting a little bit spicy right now. Uh, France is going to be going to war with one of the unrecognized powers. Or not unrecognized. I, one of these days, I will get it correct. One of these days, decentralized. Not unrecognized. Decentralized, not unrecognized. We'll get there. Okay, I'll get there one day. Uh, well, they're going to war with them because they rose up in rebellion. But Great Britain has gotten involved. And so it looks like a war is going to break out between the British and the French, which may mean that it is our opportunity to go to war with Zulu. Now, the problem is, if Great Britain sends any troops to our front, we are in lots and lots of trouble. Uh, because they have trench infantry, and I do not yet have trench infantry. Uh, we'll have it soon, but then we have to wait a year for the, the you know, switching of your military stuff to go away. It all sounds bad. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go to war. We're just going to go to war. Yeah, we're just going to do it. Also, someone pointed out that I got lead up here. Uh, and I do. You are correct. And I was incorrect. So we're going to start building our own lead production. Uh, which is going to come in very, very handy. Okay, so the French and the British are at war. But see, the British aren't mobilizing at all. Like, oh, I mean, they're mobilizing a little bit. Okay. All right. They're, they're starting to mobilize. Uh, somehow we got trench infantry there. I'm not sure how we got it so fast. Uh, I'm not going to complain, though. Okay. Let's go for bolt-action rifles. That can get us down to automatic machine guns, which could... Actually, no. Let's go for war gaming. That's going to be more important for us. Uh, well, let's go ahead and switch our development buildings over to trench infantry here. Uh, bicycle messengers we could get up to if I can get some of this rubber up and going anywhere. Um... But we don't really have anywhere that has, I mean, here? Yeah, I mean, so eventually we can get the, the bicycle boys. Eventually we can get the bicycle boys, but for now, we'll just we'll just check, switch it in. We'll just switch it in for now. Okay. Cool. Slavery and colonial labor. Abuse is my sin. Correct. Correct. Okay, so how many men do you have actually actively up and running in this war? He's losing lots to attrition. Uh, I wish that I could see the front lines. There's a fight between the Brits here, so they're there. Uh, the problem is, if I declare war and, I, and it's a miss, and, and the Brits don't, you know, and the Brits fully react to it, I'm dead. I'm like super dead. But I'm gonna go for it. We have to try. We have to try. So hopefully, we just don't mobilize right now, and they won't consider us a threat, and then we can just quickly push through and then they have to land and hopefully they just don't at that moment in time uh no one wants to join us we are completely on our own though portugal has abandoned great britain in this uh yeah we're just not gonna mobilize we're just gonna be like ah yeah we're going to war but like yeah you know it's not really that big of a deal you don't have to worry about it too much we're not really focused on it uh, we do have armed forces bonuses here okay yeah they are almost fully mobilized uh to fight the french but that does <laughs> That doesn't mean that they won't come fight us. Uh, so we just have to make sure that they stay distracted fighting the French. And we stay here. Just not attracting attention. We just attract zero attention. Uh, expand power point. Cool. We have now a stable supply of power. Go ahead and give me electric railways. I love electric railways. They're so good. Electric railways are so, so very good. Uh, go ahead and build... Two lead mines, actually. If we can get our own domestic supply of lead, that would be huge. Now, this is going to hurt our economy a lot. This war is going to suck. Because uh, all of our imports are going to get absolutely throttled by the English Navy. Or the British Navy. But I don't really care. Uh, you're an expert. You're an offensive planner. Let's go ahead and send you over here. Hopefully, then right as the war gets going, you're here. You should be able to beat the Zulu. Absolutely no problem. Uh, war in the mud and trench front in Eastern Cape. Uh, we can't let our defenses stagnate. I'll go ahead and get more tech for stuff. Yep, yeah, okay. And actually, what are the troops of the Zulu running? I guess I should have looked. They're running line infantry, so they really shouldn't cause any problems. But the longer they hold, the more likely it is that the British arrive. So let's go ahead and fully mobilize here and send both generals to the front. Uh, in the meantime, ammunition and rubber is going to cause problems. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. 
Uh, do I have a railroad here? Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's go and put that in. That should help with that. As for ammunition, uh, I can expand that by one, probably. Or I can go for explosive shells immediately to get more. I think that's a better idea. Does make the price of uh, lead go up. That's okay. All right, we really got to push through this. We really got to push through this and get it fully occupied. That way their war exhaustion starts to drop faster. Otherwise, we're going to be in a world of hurt. World of hurt. Let's go ahead and build another railway here. And... Yeah, that's fine. Could build more furniture, though the price of wood is looking a bit much. Uh, I'll build three more furniture manufactories here. And for these 19,000 people, I will build three more coal. Here, population is looking good, so we can go ahead and build up... Uh, what's some else that we could need? And honestly, I'd rather just get them working in some kind of building. The price of grain is looking fine. The price of meat is super, super, super expensive for us. So let's go ahead and build five livestock ranches. Yeah, five livestock ranches. That sounds good. Okay, low market access. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna have some troubles with our market access here. A group of Christian missionaries want to bring the salvation of the gospels to our colony in Zambia. Uh, so, tensions increase. The Anglican Church gets more power, but we get more conversion and more migration attraction. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't really care about conversion. Like, we're multicultural with total separation. I, I don't need the church to go convert people. Uh, yeah. The industrialists are very mad at me. I must have passed a law that made them upset. They're unhappy, so they're almost away from being unhappy, so that's good. The rogue imperialist? Uh, right. What's our infamy at? 82. We're going to have to reject the explorer. We're, we're going to have to back down. Or we're going to get too far over our infamy and then we're going to die. We cannot go over 100 infamy. We will not survive a cut down to war if people actually come to fight us. Uh, and they will. The great powers will absolutely deck me. Okay, there we go. So that makes Zulu... Uh, fully occupied, which means war exhaustion stu should start dropping very quickly because I control 100% of my war goals. Yeah, that cost minus two per week. Okay, cool. So as long as the Brits don't come and just land on us and be very annoying, then we'll be fine. Yeah, our embargo, or our uh, convoys are getting sucked. Sucked? They're not getting sucked. They're getting sunk by an opposing admiral is what it is. The price of sulfur is probably sky high because market access here is going to be zero. Essentially zero. But with my one ship, I don't think I can take on the British Navy. Something tells me that won't quite work. Uh, visitors from the colonies. Sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I need your land. My bad. Is what it is. Nothing personal. I just need it. I just need it. Now, see, we could do cheeky little wars like this, but if France against France, I don't know if that cheeky little war is going to work. Uh, disrespecting our maps. We have to back down to our claim on Herrera land. Again, we cannot get more infamy here. Cannot get more. Uh, can I declare rivals? More rivals in this? Uh, anyone? I guess the easiest way to do that would be going to diplomatic actions and declaring rivalry. Uh, Great Britain? <laughs> I can rival Great Britain. That seems like a mistake. Is there anyone small? Like the Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands. Screw you. And, uh... Yeah, that's it. I don't want to make anyone else mad. But I do want more influence. That way our infamy decay is going down even faster. Plus 25% right now. Huge. That is huge. Other proxy abuses must end. I agree. Kick the landowners down. <laughs> Keep kicking them down. Uh, donation of knowledge. You want a university in Transvaal? Do we have enough people to work that? We sure do. Sure. I'm good with that. In fact, let's go ahead and build three more here. 
because I would like to get a bit more. Uh, Great Britain is proposing a peace to return Zululand. Yes, I will accept that peace deal. Why are you not peacing out? I said I accept the peace deal. Uh, this doesn't give me any infamy, so we'll do that. Yo, Great Britain. I accept. Return Zululand. Proposed peace deal. Yeah. What? Okay. Bit of a bug. Hopefully they don't land on me when this happens, because that would be very sad. Also, our economy is so very close to beating out Spain's. So very, very close. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. Proposed peace deal. I have to wait until June to produce... Propose another piece. Okay. Okay. So be it. Uh, we can build some more buildings in here if that will help. Yeah, price of wood is skyrocketing, as is the price of tools. Why? It just is. Is someone exporting my tools? No, we just need more. Okay. Uh, build five more tool workshops then. That we can do. That we can certainly do. Unproductive trade routes for sulfur and for lead. We go ahead and we'll delete the lead import. Uh, yeah, go ahead and go for atmospheric engine. Use rail transportation. Use a steam donkey to get rid of even more people. Beautiful. All right, and look at that. Look at that South Africa, completely free from British influence. Arming the natives, if they want to fight, they'll get one. Yeah, oh wow, our bureaucracy is tanked though, by taking that. How many people were here? Probably a lot. All right, uh, do we have insufficient taxation anywhere? No. We do have a lack of market access here though. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are subsidizing that. That way it fully hires everyone. Go for steel passenger carriers. You, yep, that's fine, that's fine. Auto, oh no, just go for mechanized looms. That is good. As for all of you, make sure you're using barbed wire fences. You're going for slaughterhouses. Nice, you, rail transportation. You need to use uh, that. And you want, let's get some fruit over here. Make sure you're using fertilizers. Whoa, okay. Don't use fertilizers. You can use fishing trawlers. That's fine. Wait, no. Not fishing trawlers. We're above fishing trawlers now, aren't we? Yeah, we're at steam stuff. So make sure you have uh, steam trawlers. That does cause the price of coal to go up quite a bit. So let's build five more coal mines. Most people are or migrating to Transvaal, that's fine. We have to, we're gonna have to back out of that. And it's bad because we share this state, so it's literally gonna keep happening. It is going to just keep happening over and over and over again. There is no escape. No escape for us. Uh, that's fine. Oh, are we there? Hey, look at that. We're in the top 10 GDPs. Huge. Okay. Well, that was one of my goals for the campaign was to get into the top 10 GDP. So we have done that. Uh, seventh highest GDP per capita as well, which is not too shabby. I mean, the other goal, well, there was two. Independence and owning the South African strategic region. Uh, we're part of the way there. Part of the way there. Uh, yeah, no. I want you to just... Make rubber as much as you can, and that'll be fine. Our other goals are to conquer this state off of Portugal. Right now, we would have to fight Portugal, the United States, Spain, the Philippines, Morocco, and Oyo. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Uh, it will cost 25 infamy, so we have to wait a little bit anyways. And then I need to also gain this, because that is in my strategic region. That little tiny bit right there. Uh, but in order to do that, we would need even more available infamy. So, yeah. Mission to Africa? No. 
So we will have to wait just a little bit here. Just a little bit. Now, one thing we can do in these areas that have a high population is build more barracks. Like Transvaal up here should also have a decent amount of population. You get barracks. And you get 10 more barracks. Get those people into those military jobs. Uh, as for fixing our bureaucracy, that is not a big deal. Go ahead and build three more government administration buildings here. That is being incorporated. Very good. Uh, make sure that all of our barracks are in trench infantry, shrapnel, artillery, bicycle messengers. Uh, no wound dressing because we don't have any opium. Make sure you're all there. Okay, and then urban-wise, make sure that all of our urban centers are running the same thing and they're running... Gas street lights it would really help the price of coal if I went up to this. It would actually actually would tank the price of coal. Uh, we'll make sure that everyone's on gas street lights. Yeah. Uh, except for this one. You can go to electric street lights. Cool. That keeps the price of electricity kind of high. So we can build two more electrical plants to bring that back down, and then maybe we can start to integrate that into use in other portions of our uh, nation. Like, if we can have, uh, what's it, for the, uh, like, mills here, that would really help bring the price of wood down in some places. Uh, where do I have hardwood at? Right here. Let's go ahead and switch this over. And if I go to electric sawmills, it would bring the price of wood down even more. It would also give us better jobs. Because you don't really want labor. It's better to have other things. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll probably need... Some more guns. If I had to assume, I need some more guns. So the question is, do I use iron or do I just go to full steel? I think I'd probably just switch over to using full steel production methods here. And then building up more steel mills. Uh, we can even go to the electric arc process. Though it says that we'll lose too much money here. When at war though, it probably would be worth it. Uh, partisan papers. Let's go ahead and uh, give paper mill throughput. Now, that is one more law I want to change. I want to change out of censorship and into protected speech. I want to have... I want to be, like, super liberalized. So I need to have guaranteed liberties. Yeah, which means I need to get out of censorship and go here. Now, this will make the armed forces very, very upset with me. But I think it's okay. I think we could push it through. Uh, who else accepts this? The petite bourgeoisie does intelligentsia and the trade unions. Uh, the rural folk want to join the communist party. That's fine. I mean, I could bring you in, and then bring you in, and you in. No. No, 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 no. We'll do that though. That will help us out a bit. Uh, I, I don't know because I think this thing would be cool if we could do that. Uh, and besides, we have a little bit of time while we wait for our infamy to go down, and as we are colonizing up over in here. Oh, what else is happening around the world? Uh, Prussia still has not formed the North German Confederation. That is an ugly Prussia, too. That is terrible, terrible borders. Uh, Austria, though, is looking kind of small. <laughs> you know, and they're missing a key part of Austria. Uh, the Austrian state. The Prussians have taken that. So, kind of an L for Austria here. Uh, new government is in. Yeah, no. We're good. Uh, Scandinavia is pretty big. Finland is independent. Not sure how that one happened, but it did. Uh, Great Qing only has two treaty ports inside of them. The Philippines are independent. Uh, the, this is horrendous. I am not sure what's going on here. We have communist Indian territory, Indian territory. We got Mexico up here. We got Mexico and Nevada and Arizona and Texas, but somehow the United States owns New Mexico and like it has treaty or it has market access because of the panhandle on Oklahoma. They own California. Some weird stuff going on. Some weird stuff going on. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to build. Let's make sure that we... Yeah. We get two more railways built here. Uh, and then we need to just increase the electricity, I think, even more. For that, we have to get the price of our engines to go up down, which means we also need the price of steel to go down. Number one steel mill in the world, number one most productive building in the world. Uh, which is not really great, I'm going to be honest with you. 
not not really great. We'll go over to uh, more capitalists. Yeah, we do have a decent amount of investment funds, which is nice to have. Uh, as for tech, we could go for electric railways. We could go for art silk. We could go for conveyors. That requires more. Uh, that requires oil. We do not have oil at the moment. Uh, though I think we could discover it with pump jacks. I think. No, it's pneumatic tools. Let's go for pneumatic tools. I don't know if we can get oil around here. I have literally zero clue. But uh, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Why not? Can we get protective speech on the first round? 34.5%? No. We can go ahead and get 75% uh, chance for 20%. I'll take those odds. There we go. Now up to 54. That is pretty good. Pretty darn good. Look at that. Line goes up. We are quickly coming up to Prussia. Which, I'm not sure what happened to their economy, because they it was better. It was Russia down there at the bottom, but something has happened to them. Uh, Women in South Africa have been organizing. Okay, so actually our next law is going to be for uh, uh, women's suffrage. Yep. That's fine. Uh, that's good with me. Uh, more people work, it sounds great. Suffragist March. I really don't want the rural folk to have more... Uh, interest group, but we'll take it for now. Look, look, look. Let me get protected speech first, and then we can go for women's rights, okay? We, we can do all the good things. Uh, and we're also going to ban dueling at this point in time. We don't need it. We don't need it. It could be a useful tool early on to try and switch around who has power by having certain bad uh, rulers, or not rulers, leaders of political groups get taken out. But yeah. Uh, we're, we're beyond that. We're beyond that. Also, look at that number. We are getting a lot more uh, loyalists to our country. A lot more loyalists. All right. Uh, you... Really, it's the price of engines, which should be brought back down. You have some universities. What's my max innovation? I mean, it's a little late in the game to try and be maxing innovation. Well, I mean, we still have a long time left. We're not going to go for, like the end of the game or anything. But we could, at the very least, get some more education going. I think that's fine. Look okay, at standard living. Number 11 in the world. Number 11. And if you look up here at all, like, the other people, they're all really, really small. Really, really small nations. So we're doing pretty good. We have the 18th largest population in the world. I did not expect us to be that high. Literacy, we're still a bit behind on. 47%. Or number 47 I've never got my literacy up to 100. I've gotten it to 99.9. .9, and there was like 50 pops in my country that were not educated and were starving. And for some reason refused to both die and refused to uh, to learn how to read. So that was fun. That was fun. Why are we going to war with Lunda? I'm not, I don't even have a colonist up here. Oh, okay. I guess I do now. I, I guess we're going for it. It's beyond where I wanted to colonize, but hey, it cuts the French off a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. An arousing speech gets us up to a 70%. 70% chance that we pass this. Surely. Surely with 70% it's going to happen. Surely. No way it wouldn't, right? Uh, how's the price of steel doing? Price of Steel is a little bit more organized now. Uh, though this productivity is tanked, but I'm fine with that, to be honest with you. Uh, the price of furniture is still crazy high, so let's go ahead and start building some more furniture manufacturers. also help our GDP. Um, and it will help raise our standard of living as people are happier. Now, what is our lower strata paying a lot for? Clothes. Clothes and liquor. Clothes and liquor. Okay. I can fix that, I think. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go to food industries. Switch this over to patent stills. And go to canneries as well. For now, we'll just leave it on bakeries. Uh, and build 10 of them. Yeah. Build 10 of them. This is going to make the price of uh, sugar go up a lot. 
That's fine. And look at that. Our colonial efforts in Africa have borne fruit. They have a sizable part of the continent for our own designs. I didn't actually think that we could complete Scramble for Africa, but I was incorrect. We gained 100 prestige permanently. Look at that. That jumps us up to number six. We are a great power. Look at that. We are the number six greatest power in the world, South Africa. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is some pretty good stuff right there. Some pretty good stuff. Let's start incorporating you in. Uh, okay, and we're very close to fully colonizing everything over here in Nama. And then Herrero will be ours over here. We are also doing really good still. Uh, the price of sulfur is pretty stable, though, so we're not too concerned about it. It does look like the price of explosives is kind of high again. Yep, it sure is. So we'll go ahead and we'll up that. Uh, do I really lose? Like, I know the price of grain is super low right now, which, you know, is good. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't want super low prices for your grain. But I could go into producing more sugar if we need to. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Because the price of fruit is kind of high. I mean, it's, it's not negative, so that's kind of high to me. Uh, so we can make sure that all of you are having some citrus orchards here. It doesn't really make the price of grain any more expensive than it already is. And we'll get, we're going to need sugar for when all of these buildings come into play. Uh, let's see here. Our infamy is down to 62. 62. What are the odds that France joins? Well, now, very, very low. <laughs> we have to wait for France to deal with Zanzibar. Then, then I think, or actually, it's Bunyoro, not Zanzibar. Uh, then I think maybe we, we make a play for Portugal. And look at that. There's protective speech. And we will go straight for women's suffrage. The trade unions can be mad all they want. Uh, but that is what I want. All right. And look. Oh. Wait one second. Portugal joins against France. That's going to lower the diplomacy between France and Portugal. I think next time. Next time we have an opportunity to take advantage of this. Uh, but that's all we're going to do for today. You know, I think hitting a great power is a good place to, uh, to stop it at. Next time we will continue to increase our GDP. We will finish, I hope, colonizing these areas around here. And we will do our final wars against Portugal. And then we just throw it at France and try and get this last state they'll probably just want war reps I don't know but we shall see I'm going to end it right here for today I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one